Jasmine. And I'm Shakira. And let me tell you a little bit about myself and then he's going to tell you a little bit about himself, okay? So, I am a stay-at-home mom. I stay at home with the kiddos when, every day, Monday through Friday. My dad works. Um, what you'll see from me is a little bit of everything, all the hats that I wear. I, um, I teach my daughter Monday through Friday for five hours straight. Um, I homeschool her um, because preschool right now, I'm not really feeling it because of COVID. It's just too much going on. So I don't know if anybody else is doing what I'm doing, but I homeschool her. I teach her everything that she needs to know to be prepared for kindergarten. Um, not only do I do that, I am a entrepreneur. I have my own business, uh, which is a women's clothing line. So feel free to follow or check my website out. You can follow me at Lovey's Collection underscore, or you can go to lovey'scollection.com and just see everything that I have on there. I have plenty of things for you ladies to look spectacular. Um, and then while I do that, I have a four month old. Um, her name is Omari. So I have Olivia and Omari and I I just do my mom life every day So that's what I'll be bringing to you guys and it'll be cameras around our house to be able to see what the Hinton household looks like and It can get very chaotic <laughs> around here. And um, Some of you may know but um, I am Shakir. Uh, I'm the dad the man of the household um, I'm here with, I have uh, three girls and then me, uh, father of two girls, and then I have my lovely hair. Um, no boys, just, just, he's the only man in the house. Yeah. So, uh, what we just wanted to go over real quick with you guys, um, just to pretty much touch bases and, and give you guys a cap of what we would, you know, bring in as she kind of already went over. Um, me, myself, uh, like I said before, my name is Shakir. Um, I have a bunch of different hats that I wear as well. Um, I'm a full-time worker. I'm also an entrepreneur. I have my own business. Um, I help a, I help a lot with hers, my daughter's business. Um, um, if you want to find my business, you can... Uh, That's our child. Okay. So... That's one of my jobs there. Um, it's something that, of course, as someone else would par as parents, they would know that doesn't stop at all. Um, but usually full time, you'll catch me doing. Uh, I wouldn't. I won't. I don't be home a lot because I'm, you know, working. And then when I am here, um, I'll do. I do multiple activities. Um, some of the ones that you would actually be able to see ourselves. She wants something else. Okay, we'll get her something else. What does she want? Do you want regular food? Regular food? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, right, go get her a bottle. Who are you calling Felicia? Hmm? Girl. Really? That's Olivia. She's being silly. Um, but like silly. I was saying. Like I was saying, um, you can follow me at um, Shakir the Jeweler on Instagram, and you can also catch me on uh, what I be on. Be on Facebook as well, I guess you can say. Um, at, uh, mostly just Instagram and Snapchat. Yeah. But Instagram, yours is at Almighty Mellow. At Almighty underscore Mellow eight one five is where you can find my personal. If you want to do any business inquiries or anything, if you want to check me out. Um, it'll be at Shakira the Jeweler. Uh, um, I think on Facebook, um, you can just check Men, out. Men, go over there. there. Go to the website. I mean, Thankful Hints on Facebook, you can find it. But then thankfulhints.com, uh, you can also find more of my catalog and some of the attributes of uh, my degrees and whatnot. Um, so what we did want to um, talk about is... I guess some of the activities that we will be going through while we are going, um, you know, exploring. Activities, um, Olivia does gymnastics um, twice a week now, so we'll be doing that. And then both the girls will be doing swimming. Um, 
So when dad gets off work, then we'll be going straight over to whoever has um, some type of sport that they have going on. Um, so that will be what we'll be doing majority of the time. And then you'll also see me, uh, sometimes we'll take Olivia to the park and um, she likes to play outside. She's an outdoors person, just like her dad. Like, I don't really like to be outside, but she loves to be outside. So that'll be something that she'll do. So throughout the channel, you also will have like little sneak peeks of what we do do when we're, um, you know, maneuvering through the, the likes of our businesses as well. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, times where- Can I go over where her pinky is? Okay. <laughs> it's probably another parade. You probably need to take her out there. Olivia, our four-year-old, she runs this entire house. Like, she really, I'm the queen, but she really is the queen. Like, without princess on, on it. Like, she is the queen of the house. She tells all of us what to do. Like, she thinks... She tries to. She tells... She got dad wrapped around her finger, like. No, she tell you what to do, and she negotiate with me. And she always wants that negotiations with you. No, she don't. I need fifty dollars, please. I need one dollars. I need one I need fifty dollars, please. <laughs> but whatever. I win them because I'm teaching her how to negotiate. You know, he teaches her how to be a finesser. She's a big, huge finesser, and he doesn't like it when she finesses him, but he's the one who taught her how to finesse. She tries to finesse him because the job is, is to do it, but do it with care, but you can't do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll see, you'll see how, he, how him and his, his daughter interact, and she had, definitely has him wrapped around her finger, but he's a, he's a good dad, and Yep. You also would get, um, I don't know if you mentioned, um, um, we also would kind of do, um, I, well, I wouldn't be here, but we're also going to get a few um, different videos um, and different things of the techniques that she does to teach Olivia her schoolwork because um, because of COVID and everything. Um, we decided not to put her in preschool. She's in, um, so she, she is homeschooled, um, but she is very, very smart. She knows a lot. You'd be surprised. She never stepped a foot in the, t in the school room. I don't even think she's been around over 15 kids at one time besides that gymnastic or gymnastics is the only time. Yeah. Um, so, you know, she has, she is a diva. She's a character, um, but she does, she's very smart. She knows all of her. Um, and she loves to be around other kids, but due to like safety reasons, like I just keep her kind of a little bit back. Um, hopefully yeah. this COVID stuff goes goes away because she she's really an outgoing like person and she loves to be around people her age and she's not shy at all like she's she's amazing I love her to death like yeah so um, all of that will be displayed um, like I said before um, I will be showing uh, you know Olivia does everything. She wants, she's going to be a jeweler as well. So she has, she's you know, all over the place. She, she has jewelry that she makes herself. Um, she has uh, chains. She has uh, little nameplate things of that nature. And, you know, I go ahead and finish and, you know, polish it all up. But we have videos of us being in the studio, you know, doing what I do and me showing her a trade. You know, uh, something that's very important is knowing a trade and, you know, besides just getting that degree and having that certificate, but knowing a trade, whether it's plumbing, electricity, whether it, any and everything is something that I'm about. Um, I always got called a pretty boy, but, you know, I always, you know, been working with my hands. So <laughs> the head, the head, you know they, I look like, you know, I don't do nothing and I just sit back, you know, and just collect the check and be on the computer, you know, the computer kid at work. But I do all of that. And above, you know what I'm saying? We're here now, there's no maintenance. We do, we do everything. All of that- Oh yeah, be, he's definitely dad of a century. All of that will be displayed in our videos. Um, and it's just something that we just want to inspire. And, you know, I know that what we're doing is something that someone else would be encouraged to do. Whether yeah. they're our age, older, younger. Um, that's the purpose here, guys. Yeah, because I always feel like um, 
even though I'm homeschooling her, I feel like the parents should always teach their kids way before it's time for them to go off to school. That way, when she goes to kindergarten, everything will be a review for her because she knows that, well, you know what? My parents have already taught me all these things. So when I go to class, I'm going to be three, four, five steps ahead of the game when it comes down to what the teacher is talking about. Like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want her to be behind. I don't want her to just be learning the things. So I will be letting you guys in on how I teach her and what am I teaching her um, to get her prepared for kindergarten because that is the step that she will she will have to go to kindergarten. Preschool is not, um, is not mandatory, but kindergarten is, so she will definitely have to go um, for that, which is going to be hard on all of us. I'm going to cry like a, a baby. And not to cut you off, but we just I just want to be clear that, you know, we are firm believers in that learning and the way child interactions start is at home first. Yep. Um, I, I, I know myself from being one to be a teacher and knowing other various teachers that, you know, they have a big responsibility and us parents, we put a lot of our responsi our responsibilities on the, on the teachers. These people are not paid enough. I wish they were paid enough. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that when you're home, you teach your kid etiquette, you teach your kid how manners. to manners, how to process, how to learn. You know, I didn't learn. Let me, I mean, let me just say, I didn't learn. I didn't learn my style of learning until I was in college. You know, I didn't know if I was a visual learner. I didn't know if I was, a, you know, a hands on learner. I didn't know these. I didn't know that those was things, you know, until, until I was until I was. I told you that's how we learned at Boylan. Yeah, they but I put us in at our school. They put you in to roles. Visual learners sit in the front, and then you go on from there. Yeah, I was a visual learner. I learned learner, that my first year in college. And they asked you that at class. Are you a visual learner, hands-on, or are you just a listener? You can just listen and learn from that, or are you visual? I was visual, so I sat in the front of the class. If you were a listener, you sat all the way in the back, because all you need to do is listen. Right, and this is something that you it, it shouldn't take you know you to be... 16 17 18 19 20 years old to learn these things your attention span should be head on beforehand so this is something that you know we we just know that from our experience even you know down to grants and doing these essays and all of that we will get yeah. into all of those different things is because we feel that you know we have a little bit of you know we've been through those experience some of those experience to be able to you know give you guys our experience but in a way where, you know, it can help you guys. You know, we might tell you guys our mistakes, whether it's, you know, anything. With anything, anything as far as businesses, being a stay-at-home mom, being a teacher, um, all of it. Like, we'll, we'll let you guys in on every single step that we take because... Whatever journey we take, we're going to take it with you. But, you know, with also, um, with any information that we know, we also will be, you know... You guys will be privy to that as well because we just want to spread any and every um, anything that can possibly that can help you, you yep. and us. So, so enjoy the ride! I'm so excited. <laughs>